is Michelle Lin. I train young style Tai Chi Chen. Here are a few drills and tips to help students transition from slow to medium speed. The drills refer to my own study of young style Tai Chi Chen, but the principles and elements can apply to other styles as well. One major component to our practice is the spine wave. Start by tilting your pelvis backward, then tilt it forward and try to move your spine one vertebrae at a time. The first drill is to practice one posture at a time, stationary. First, focus on the lower body and then the upper body before combining the movements. For example, we'll use the posture G. Start by shifting from 4-6 stance to mountain climbing stance. Feel your back foot push off from the ground and turn the hips forward. Then push off from your front foot and settle back into 4-6 stance. This is known as rocking. Now add the movement for the right hand. Start in 4-6 stance with your chest and spine bows closed. Now push off from your back foot and shift into mountain climbing stance. The spine wave is already going and extend your right hand forward with the back of your hand facing the front. Now shift back by pushing from your front foot into 4-6 stance. As you push off from the front foot, let your arm follow. Then rock back and forth and feel your spine and your right arm moving in a whip-like motion. Now focus on the movement for your left hand. Keep your right hand at the dentian. Initiate the spine wave and push off from 4-6 stance into mountain climbing stance. As the spine wave goes, let your left hand come forward and have your wrist settle at the very end. Now shift back into 4-6 stance and let your arm follow. When you're comfortable, combine the movements for both arms. Remember, both hands are striking, but the left hand gives a more aggressive push to the right hand. The second drill is to practice a single posture while moving. Alternate from left to right side down a straight line, or you can step diagonally with postures such as grass barrel's tail left, diagonal flying, wild horse parts its mane, and fair lady weaves its shuttle. The third drill is to practice small sections of the form at a time. For the long form, you can start with the beginning posture to pong, pong to an, or an to white crane spreads its wings. To practice regulating the breath, focus on one posture at a time and do it stationary. For example, step back and repulse the monkey. Start in a high horse stance with your hips turned to the right, your left hand extended, and your right hand chambered at the waist. From your center, coil with your left hand and lift the right hand back behind you. The chest and spine bows are open. Now slowly turn, close the chest and spine bows, extend your right hand forward while you draw your left hand back, and repeat on the other side. Use the mind to lead the chi in a conditioned pathway. Our practice includes the use of martial grand circulation. This requires us to do the spine wave to open and close the Mingmen cavity. In a standing position, initiate the spine wave. Lead the energy up the spine to the dazui on the inhale. Then on the exhale, lead the energy out the arms to the palms. After you're comfortable with doing martial grand circulation with the upper body, add the legs. The next step is four gates breathing in which you lead the energy out the palms and the bottoms of your feet. 